Welcome to the Sulphur Fissure, located in the beautiful Thing Veneer National Park. This is the only place in the world where you can dive or snorkel between two tectonic plates, the European Continental Plate and the North American Continental Plate. You can only attempt to dive or snorkel the fissure with a certified guide. Hiring a tour company will provide you with all of the necessary gear and safety protocols. Our tour group provided a community changing truck, but you will want to wear thermal underwear and heavy socks when you start your day. That way you just have to remove your top layers of clothing, leaving on your thermal underwear and socks when changing in the truck. You will be provided a thermal lining to put on over your clothing to provide extra warmth for the dry suit. Next, you will put on a dry suit, thermal gloves, and a hood. The process of getting ready is not for the faint of heart. The guides will help you and make sure you are prepared in order to try to keep you as warm as possible. Once you are dressed, you grab your fins, mask, and snorkel and walk to the entry platform. Once you're safely on the platform, one by one you will enter the water to practice a few safety skills before you're on your way. Wearing a dry suit is not the most comfortable experience, but you will be thankful to have it on once you get in the water. As a warning, they will be quite tight around your neck and wrists to make sure water does not get in. This may be very uncomfortable and anxiety provoking for some. The water of the sulfur fissure was 37 degrees Fahrenheit when I visited, just above freezing. I can tell you your face will burn from the cold when you first get in, and it never gets better. Your face just gets numb. However, it is a free facelift for the day. Just a reminder, do not pee in a dry suit. There are public restrooms available on site. Make sure you to empty your bladder before putting on the gear so you're not uncomfortable during your snorkeling experience. This fissure is fed by melting glaciers and leads out to the largest glacier-fed lake in Iceland, Thingvallavanten. I recommend snorkeling this fissure instead of diving. As you can see, the water is crystal clear and the only things to see are rocks. Our guides said occasionally they get fish that swim into the fissure, but not very often. The tectonic plates continue to separate and move away from each other a little bit each year. Years ago, an individual made this dive very famous by posting a picture of himself touching both sides of the fissure at the same time. Unfortunately, the plates have separated so much, it's no longer possible to recreate that picture today. Don't worry, you can find narrow areas within the fissure to try to recreate your own awesome image. No one will ever know. The snorkeling experience lasts about 30 to 45 minutes. If your face gets too cold, you can turn over on your back and float. You can also take breaks along the way and enjoy the beautiful scenery around you. You will float in a dry suit. Air does get trapped inside and creates a bubble inside the suit. You cannot sink. However, if you try to float vertically in the water, be aware that the dry suit will become tight and constricting around your legs. This is normal, but can be uncomfortable and alarming if you're not expecting it. The deepest part of the fissure is 63 meters or 207 feet. This is a safe activity as long as you are physically healthy. You are not in danger by swimming in waters at these depths. When you are ready, continue on with the rest of your journey. Eventually you will enter a lagoon area where you can explore a smaller fissure and enjoy the remaining few minutes of the snorkeling experience. Although you are looking at rocks, it is still a beautiful and pretty cool experience. If you enjoy water-related activities, I believe this is an activity you would want to complete at least once in your lifetime. When else are you going to snorkel between two tectonic plates? When you're done snorkeling, the guides will help you take off all of your gear. You can put your personal layers of clothing back on in the changing truck and finish your adventure with a cup of hot chocolate. 